everyone! Welcome back to another Pokemon card opening video. I'm back with the second tin that I mentioned before. The switch. Cramorant V Shining Fates tin. Yeah, I bought a trio that had one of each, so kinda hoping I'll have better luck with this tin than I did last time. Of course, with each tin, you've got the full art promo, in this case, Shiny Cramorant, along with the code card, but let me get the plastic out of the way so you can actually see the code. I'm trying to be quick this time because I'm doing this right after the previous video, and I have to be off in a few minutes to pick up a certain little puppy. Sorry. Let's get price on screen because empty screen is kind of lame. And switch to, there we go, me in the corner here. <laughs> now the promos generally aren't worth as much as everything else that you could get in here. But they're still worth more than Greedent from the last video. If you don't know what I mean, I'll point you up here in the corner. I wanted to do that with the video with Jasmine, but again, four kids means you don't get to do stuff like that. Eh, not that I can blame them. Considering all the different types of people who post on social media. Anyway. I hope you guys don't mind if I do a quick sort here to see if I can get what the pull rate's like. I moved the cards over from last time. Anyway, here we go. Shining Fates number one. Corvette Knight. And I'm really hoping for some good pulls from these. Anyway, here's the code card for you guys. And there we go. Then one, two, three, four from the back. And got Fighting Energy, Eldegoss, Dark Tricks, Grammarant, More Pico, Coughing, ah, come on, no fear, Gossifler. Acnea, Tootle, and you already saw we got a reverse breast shield. Well, you saw it was reverse, not what it was. And then Yan Mega, regular rare. Well, I shouldn't be surprised I'm not getting much. It is a small main set. It's usually the secret rares like the shinies that are very big. Now, while I do show off the codes and give you a price range on the cards that I pull, at least when they're like more than a hollow rare, know that the prices can change over time depending on how many things in the set have been opened, how long their print run was, or just how rare in general the card might be. Sometimes it can go up and sometimes it goes down. Right now, the packs themselves unopened are going up, as well as some of the favorites. But, oh, Shiny Dreepy! Now, in this case, it's one of the cards that goes down a little bit, but still holding some value. Not by much, though. Then, Hollow Luxray. Now, if we're talking like the first three generations of the game, maybe even up to black and white, then it might be worth more than 50 cents the hollows, but mostly 
in cases like drapey, it might be only a couple bucks right now. But that's how much the popularity is and versus how much are the actual packs? Can I get a price on screen for those as well? Alongside Dreepy's price? Yeah, it's going to be quite a bit because while they're still being printed, there's not that many going around now since they're switching, they've switched to Chilling Rain and of course whatever the English version of EV Heroes is going to be, the Japanese set. You've probably seen some other YouTubers open them by this point. I am not because I focused on English and what's actually available in my country. I know, typical American. But I'm trying not to hog everything. I already pay enough as it is just getting these shipped here. And they're in the state. So I think we got something here, but first, code card. One, two, three, four. Already, this is proving up to be better than the last ten. We've got Grass Energy, Russet Shield, Team Yell Towel, Eldegoss, Eevee, Nicket, Percy, Snum, More Pico. This is the one I was thinking I kept getting off. Every time that I didn't have. Real Boom VMAX Shiny! Yeah, like I said, this one I do already have, but this one, I can't say it's completely centered, but it's at least better than I've gotten before. And here's Dreadnought again. Yeah, this is one of the ones whose prices have been going down a bit, like I said. Eh, it may be a starter, but it's not one of the OG ones. Still, it's not too bad at least. If nothing else, maybe I can check and see which places I can go to trade and finish out my collection. Anyway, let's move on to the last Dra Dragapult one. Now, here's a code card for you guys. Yeah, already this one's turning out to be a lot better than the previous 10, as I said. Okay. And that happens sometimes when you get a tin that doesn't have as much or has more than has been said to contain, because that's how it works sometimes with being random. At least when it's supposed to be random. Oh! I do not have shiny Cinderace, so... <laughs> lucky me! And in Volcanion. Seriously, this tin's a lot better than the last one. I mean, already three shinies and one of them a VMAX? And no, I didn't count the promo, because that wouldn't get on that. I just realized though, this first attack, huh, this ability says Ibera or Free as it goes in Spanish, if I remember correctly. And I'll make a note if that's not the correct translation, so just bear with me. Because it's been a while since I was in Spanish class, so <laughs> there's likely a lot of things I forgot. Plus, I was always better at reading the, the language than I was speaking it. Not that I didn't try. That's just how I was. We've got... I think I saw another one, so... Music, please. Darkness Energy. 
Rotom, Floatzel, Tropius, Nicket, Rowlet, Tripinch, Weasel, Coughing, Rowlet's Averse, and what's our rare? Holy! Okay, I do not have a rainbow rare as of yet, so. Holy cow! <laughs> Hello, Al Creamy V Max Rainbow Rare. Ah. Now, you can pull this more often than you do Charizard, but this is my first time with this. I mean, like, come on. Ay. I mean, Unlisted Leaf has pulled this more often than I have. No joke, I'll link you his channel so you can check for yourselves if that feature is still available. Like I said, they've been updating things a bit. And this is actually pretty well centered too from what I can tell. Hey! Man, didn't expect that one. Now what does that say about the last pack? <laughs> Easy. Yeah. That reminds me though. You guys gain anything in the coats? Just curious, that's all. I know I'm not good on the communicating part because I only have a Facebook and I tend to be very careful about who I add on that because yeah. I've had instances where I've had someone try to spoof my profile. Which is a little weird, as it is. <laughs> Darkness Energy. Wacky. Cramorant. I probably should at least get, like, Instagram, but... I, uh, again, trying to be careful. Cacnea. Gossipler. Boss's Order is the reverse. And then... <laughs> uh, Cramorant V regular. Rare. Well... Normal B, anyway. <laughs> eh, shouldn't be surprised. I mean, this is his tin, after all, so of course he's going to find a way in here. But the prints could use a little work. <laughs> I mean, look how skinny this side is. Still, that's definitely one way to end this. So while I'm cleaning up here, how about you guys head on over to the recap? Oh, man, that was definitely a better ratio. I think we got like at least one pull per pack. Which is definitely cool. So we've got Luxray Hollow this time around. Cramorant V that we pulled at the end there. Our Dreepy Shiny. Cinderace Shiny. The promo Cramorant V Full Art. <laughs> Little Boom V Max shiny. And the one I didn't think of that was in the set. How creamy V Max. Hey, Rainbow Rare too. Hey, if you like this video and want to see me try and find more of this set, let me know in the comments, okay? Or at least leave a like. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. That way you can at least get some idea of when I post my next video. As always, though, I'm your host, Christina, signing off.